Hi, everyone, and welcome to another Talking Song episode where we have Brenda with us. Welcome, Brenda. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, <laughs> Daniel. So for those of you who don't know Brenda, uh, we work together in the Insomnia Immunity Program with, in the Sleep Push School, and we're going to talk about that, of course. Um, uh, but first, uh, this has become my standard first question, which is, like, how, how did you find me? I just bumped into you, not bumped, but like ran into you um, in YouTube. So um, while I was researching about how to, you know, sleep better and uh, how to, you know, in, about insomnia, I don't know. I just, you know, YouTube could be like a, like a rabbit hole too. <laughs> you click here and click here. And then I ended up um, watching some of the stories and I said, oh my God, um, yeah, he, he understands what I'm going through. So that's how I found you through YouTube. Uh -huh. Kind of that that feature of it. Okay, very well. So with that said, um, yeah, just uh, just tell us the story how it all started, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, sure, no problem. So, um, so my insomnia started. I remember June first, <laughs> clearly. Um, I had I went to the to the ER because I had some anxiety over just some symptoms that I was having, and they told me I have uh, pneumonia. And I was giving some antibiotics. I took the antibiotics and somehow it caused some nervousness. Or I, I, and one of the nights that I was sleeping, I sort of jolted and I felt my nerves all in my body. And um, I, it was very scary. So I couldn't sleep after that. Like every every night I would wake up and I'll, I'll be jitter, uh, not jittery. Um, um, I'll, I'll feel like, the nerves, the hypnic jerks. jerks. Yeah, yep. yeah, those hip, hypnic jerks. And I think maybe that's what I researched. And I, I, I went on there. I'm like, why am I jerking like this? Right. Um, so every time I would try to fall asleep and I, I think if I was going to get into deep sleep, I would wake up. So that kind of um, from there, I was just so nervous about it. And I called the the VA because um, I thought, okay, maybe I'm just, you know, depressed or I have anxiousness. I don't know. Uh, one of my friends said, call the, the veterans line. So I did. And they, they suggested this like insomnia app that they have. And um, that was, app, uh, was CBT coach or C that one CBT coach? I think so. Yeah. I think that's what it's Probably. called. Yeah. And then and basically, it, it was telling me to like write down every time I wake up and, the, the, you know, during the night. So I started doing that and it's just, it just wasn't getting any better. And I think it was making my anxiety even worse about falling asleep. Um, I tried, I tried everything, uh, valerian root. My mom kept telling me, you need sleep because I couldn't sleep like every night. It was like almost a whole month and I'm still not sleeping and I'm just feeling worse. <laughs> Um, I did the whole, um, oh, I use circadian rhythm. I think it is circadian rhythm. I, I tried doing that light therapy, um, still not sleeping and very exhausted. So, um, I, oh yes, I even bought a weighted blanket. <laughs> I returned it. I don't know why I returned it. I think after I found you, I returned it because like everything, even I tried melatonin, the VA gave me melatonin and I stopped taking it. Um, because, you know, after I learned, um, from, from taking the course. So, uh, back to, uh, moving forwards after that with the, with the insomnia, I found your channel and I, a lot of the information that you, you know, about the hypnic jerks. Um, I don't know. I just started feeling a lot better and I said, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. Um, because I'm one of those people like, I need some sleep. I need to <laughs> I need sleep. And that was like my main thing. I need to sleep. If I sleep, I'm going to feel better. Um, so basically I got into the bedtime app, but I'm more of a, I like group gathering, group sessions and, you know, hearing other people's experience just kind of makes me feel more comforting. So um, comforted. So I joined the, the school and um, I did the whole eight weeks. And um, so the way I started was again. Yeah, and we can, Brenda, sorry to, sorry to interrupt. We can, sure. uh, uh, we'll go to that, of course, you know, what happened and what you learned and, and that in a second. But um, 
before we do, uh, I know, I know, and you know that, uh, you know, how it started and what the details aren't actually important, but just so people can relate to you uh, even more, I'm sure than they already do when they hear this is like, w what was it like in terms of like, did you have like, were you mostly like up for long periods of time and then you slept a little or was it more like the in and out, like very fragmented sleep or what was it like? like? I had a little bit of everything. I think in the beginning I had no sleep at all, all night. Like I was up for, maybe I was up for like two nights and then, no, I'm sorry. It was, it was for like the whole week. And then one, one day during a day, I would sleep some, I think. And again, I, I think because I was so hyperactive or hyper aware, I still, I was still awake and I could still hear things and hear people around me, but I just closed my eyes and I think I was sleeping. So it was pretty much, I was awake all day. I, it felt like I was awake all day. So. so it was a whole week where you felt like you barely slept at all? I think it was like a month. Wow. A whole week. Yeah. Um, and then my mom would force me to sleep during the day and tell me, you need sleep. And it was affecting my work. And, you know, I felt like I needed to do something because I, I have to work. I'm a single parent, so I'm, I need to to work and and my it kind of affected my daughter too. It was pretty bad at the beginning, wow. um, the, first, the first month and a half before I I started learning about sleep. Absolutely. So you um, you did you have to like call in from work? Did you stay home from work, or you just felt like you weren't really doing a good good job? I went to my doctor and oh, did she did prescribe the first week trazodone? Trazodone, yeah. Yes, and I tried it, and the 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 hypnic jerks would wake me up, and uh, so the first day I tried it, I, I was kind of nervous. It made me nervous, actually. I didn't want to take it, but I took it, and 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 it I, I did feel that I was falling asleep, and I feel like like sedated almost. Um, I've never taken this before, so I was really like panicking about it. So um, when I fell asleep, like I, I jolted back up. And again, I was wired. Like I, I was like, well, how am I taking this medication? It's supposed to put me to sleep. And I'm like wired awake. So um, I didn't take, I stopped taking it. I hear, I hear. Yeah. And, and by the way, another question, um, before this, you, do you ever have any struggles with sleep at all or, or really never? Nope, um, I clearly remember I went to Dominican Republic on a little vacation and I would sleep fine. I would say, Hey, I need some sleep and I'm going to go to bed and just lay down and be out in the morning, six o'clock, seven o'clock, wake up and go for a jog. No issues. Exactly. And, and I mean, you know, before in your life, you never really had any struggles with sleep. No. And actually I was reminiscing um, a few days ago that I would wake up sometimes, you know, maybe because I, I had some event or maybe like I had to go to the airport, I wouldn't sleep just because I didn't want to miss the flight. And I never had any issues with, you know, oh, you know, I'm not, I never paid attention to it or got anxious about it. Exactly. Very well. So I think, yeah, we have a very good picture of what happened. You found my channel. And I actually wanted to, I'm glad you brought it up because I want to specifically ask you about this. Um, about like the bedtime versus the immunity program or the group coaching program. Uh, because I, I um, when both in the beginning, I had this idea that maybe bedtime is better for most people. And I kind of felt like, oh my gosh, maybe we have to do something. But then I, but then you and many others did really well in the immunity program. So I, and now I see that there's so much value in both. But again, for you, it was this, um, you liked the idea that there were other students, other people that I could talk to, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So in bedtime, it made me feel more anxious, you know, in all honesty. Yeah. 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 You know, it, it I, I was like waiting for the next day so I could read about, you know, what was next. And, but then again, I got the point where I think in one of the classes, you said you, you kind of want to drip feed information because some people like me, you know, or people when they're anxious, they want to just go through it. And that's just me. I want to go through it because I want to learn, but sometimes it, you know, it depends on the person. It'll, you know, hinder your progress. 
So, but you know, I'm I'm just like <laughs> I'm one of those that just want to read the entire thing in one sitting. Right, right, no, absolutely, um, and it's so helpful to hear this. And, uh, and you know, I was so excited uh, with you being a guest here for many reasons, but one of them was that you're, I think, it, with the section of Andreas, you're the second person who uh, is a guest here that went through the Insomnia Immunity Program. So I'm really happy to share a little bit of insight from there. But anyway. Uh, so you started the program um, and yeah, tell us what it was like and what you learned and how things went from there. Um, so, yeah. So when I did the bedtime, I loved the information because every time I would read about, okay, you know, in the introduction, you're talking about sleep and that I'm like, oh my God, it's so true. And then you talk about type A personalities. I'm like, oh my God, it's so true. And then I, I didn't realize I was type A, by the way. <laughs> I, I totally am. Um and um, and then it, the analogies were amazing because it just makes you you know it, it gives you that picture that that uh, imagery in your mind about um, what's happening to you um, about um, you know the fear having that fear and and um, I think you use the there's a bear here and then you know if you're if you're feeling that you know your um, what is it your amygdala is gonna kind of activate that fear response, right? Or the, the fight or flight response. Um, and there's no bear. So I mean, I really love your analogies as well. So after after reading um, all that information in the bedtime app, I said, you know what, I think I want to try to do, you know, the the coaching one where what did you call that one? The, the Yeah, we it's changed names a couple of times, but now oh. I'm sticking with the insomnia immunity program. Okay, okay, okay. And that's kind of new too, right? The, the name. So yeah, so um, I mean, I'll stick with the coaching school because that's what we were calling it <laughs> when I joined. Um, that I really enjoyed because, um, again, I got to interact with some of the some of the other students and some of the coaches. And I think you didn't have the coaches; they were kind of aspiring coaches at the time. Um, that was really really good uh, because for people like me who want to, yeah, I'm I'm kind of getting drip fed information. If you have questions, I have so many questions. I'm sorry if I bombarded you. I think I bothered Alina most. Um, I would, um, you know, you have that chance once a week or twice a week um, to, you know, bring up your questions, any questions that you may have, or and listen to other people about their progress. Um, so that was very helpful. Super, super yeah. nice to hear this. And uh, and yes, so for those of you who are wondering, we have like a Slack channel we can. Uh, ask questions in writing and then to like Zoom dropping classes where we mm -hmm. come together and discuss. And you were in many of the Zoom classes, which was, uh, you know, it was very, always very nice working with you. But uh, yeah, so so um, what happens is that, uh, you know, as you started there, um, uh, did you soon after start finding that you slept better or did it take a while? Did your understanding come first or what was it like? So, since I, I was since I didn't know what was going on with me, this was my first time ever that I've experienced insomnia for for that long, you know, period of time. It was what, like three months, I think. Um, I mean, I, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I still have it, but I I just it's a little different now. I don't like I don't I don't I don't cry about it anymore. So in the beginning, I, I remember I was like crying because I didn't understand what was going on. Um, and I was just anxious because I wanted some sleep. <laughs> I was chasing sleep a lot um, and just making it such a, so, so important. Um, so <clears throat> I, I don't know, like the beginning. So when I started reading and then I started getting the information about, um, you know, set, I got the book, set it and forget it. Um, so I, I think you call it the, the sleep, sleepness, sleepless or timeless window. Yeah. The timeless sleep window that, yeah. Yes, timeless sleep window. So I said, okay, let me give it a try. I'm going to start implementing some of these methods. Um, so I did 10:30 to 6 a.m. and I, you know, I stuck with it. Sometimes I'll, I'll we'll go to, I'll look at the clock. I think that's one of the things that I'm like, oh my god, I looked at the clock, and then I'll start like freaking out because I looked at it, <laughs> and I'll lose some sleep because of that. But I started sleeping on and off. And I think you mentioned one of the questions was, you know, why am I, you know, I can sleep one day, but one day I can't, I'll be up all night and then super tired the next day, but I wouldn't sleep or nap. Um, you said it was the pendulum effect, right? 
so I started doing that like the first, like the first uh, four weeks maybe, um, cause I did the whole eight week program. So um, I did, I think it was the first four or five weeks I was still doing the on and off. And then one time it was just two days, no sleep, maybe three days, no sleep. And then that one day I'll get sleep. Um, but, and then I think I was crying at one point. I'm like just getting more anxious because I wanted, I just wanted it. I wanted to be regular, a regular sleep, but something clicked, um, after I think that the seventh week I started, like, I think the anxiety or, or I just felt like I started reminiscing and thinking about, you know, wait a minute, I, I know, I, I know, I know I'm sleeping, you know, I know I'm sleeping because I started building sleeping confidence. And I, I think um, at one point, I think I told you that I was like snoring <laughs> and I woke myself up, myself up and that made me feel so much better because I said, oh, I am sleeping. So I think when, when the anxiety is, is at, at the most high, you don't have that sleep confidence. You feel like you're not sleeping, but you really are. So I don't know. I just started sleeping better after a while. Um, I felt like it was time to graduate. I said, you know what? I, I'm going to not focus on it anymore. Um, now I sleep every night. Like I'm sleeping every night. And and actually, I've been checking the, the hours too. I'm getting like six and a half hours. Like I don't feel, I don't, <laughs> but I, I don't feel anxious anymore about it. Like I don't feel um, like, it's such a big deal. So I'm in New Jersey and we had the Ida hurricane. Oh yeah. Right. Not, not too long ago. And my basement flooded about six inches of water. And of course I was like, Oh man, I'm not going to get any sleep tonight. <laughs> and I said, Oh man, I'm going to be all night cleaning. But I was like, Oh wow. So who cares? I didn't care. I just, you know, pumped out the water. I found an, an, an extra external pump, pumped out the water, clean, put some music, and then um, just finished, got ready for bed and just slept till eight. Easy. It was easy. Yeah. I, 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 that's how I'm sleeping now. I'm so excited. I'm glad I did what I did, you know, found your channel. Yeah. So am I. So it's music to my ears to hear this. Yeah. And, you know, I had some, I'm asked some other questions based on like what I remember from working with you, but mm -hmm. this one just came to me in this moment. So someone who hears this, and by the way, I want to actually a few things I want to share to anyone who's tuning in here now, which is that first of all, the, um, in the insomnia immunity program, there are like eight weeks worth of like structured content, but it is a membership. So anyone who wants to stay on beyond we eight weeks or leave earlier, it's totally fine. Just so nobody thinks that it has to be exactly eight weeks, but, um, now that said, uh, the second thing was, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and this is also to anyone who tunes in here, like Brenda, again, you share that it, it was like a several week uh, period of learning and then things started really changing. And when we do these interviews, it's like compressed into like 45 minutes. So people yeah. can be like, what, uh, you know, it can be a little confusing, but with that in mind, if you would, um, if somebody asked you, if somebody who heard this and said, Brenda, like how, how can you go from like, <laughs> having so much struggle who actually being like, it's okay. If, I don't care what happens. I'm just going to put some music on and have a good time. W what would you tell that person who who's, who's, who's like, how can you do that? Um, oh my goodness. Um, well, I did have a friend who, who did say he wasn't sleeping and I said, try the coach. <laughs> try, I, I, I gave you your information. I said, well, listen, I said, I, I just tell them it's you're probably just have a little bit of sleep anxiety, you know, and it stems from fear and you just have to remember that, you know, the time that you were sleeping well and, and kind of, and educate yourself about sleep because that's one of the things that also, um, it was kind of giving me anxiety. I think I told you one time because, um, I was learning, we were learning about, the normal hours that a person sleep, which is like about six and a half. And, and sometimes people will sleep two hours or three or in, even wake up every hour. And they don't realize, some don't realize it, some do, you know, some people like me, I'll probably wake up and I'll realize that I'm up. It's just some certain people are more hyper aroused than others. Um, so 
just educate yourself on sleep and don't listen to the media about you need eight hours of sleep because I think I, I asked you about the COVID vaccine because I, I went into a full panic attack <laughs> that day that I got the vaccine because I was sleeping. I was trying to sleep um, during, and this was during the my insomnia time. And I woke up and I started thinking, oh, oh my God, I need eight hours to sleep. I need to sleep because, you know, what if I need sleep for my vaccine because I have to be healthy and my body needs to, you know, re um, recover and all this stuff that that was going through my head. And it went, I went, I was so scared and I started going into a, like, I couldn't breathe and go into a full panic attack. I had to call my girlfriend to like calm me down. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, but then, you know, I started thinking, I'm like, on my second shot, I started thinking, wait a minute, you know, Daniel said, you know, you are, what you do, when you are sleeping, no one's, you know, there's no research that getting less sleep is going to, you know, cause all these health issues. So the second time I was good. <laughs> so basically learning about sleep. Learning yeah. About sleep. I, I, I think, uh, I think you're so right. I mean, if we just listening to you know, the story you shared here, it was like so much in the beginning, it was like, I didn't know what was happening. It was like, it's like, I have no clue what's going on. And then like with understanding, it's like, oh, I understand what's happening. And then it's like, it's just less fear from that. And it just helps so much. Yep. And, and it's made me kind of, like I've thought about the many times that maybe I lost one or two nights of sleep. When I was in the military, I would stay up till two o'clock in the morning fixing an aircraft, you know, or maybe even three o'clock in the morning. Sometimes we'll, we'll pull an all nighter and I would just, be okay with that, you know, no issue. I'm, I'll be tired, but I'll just be like, oh, okay. And again, I learned about emotional, I think it was an emotional um, was fatigue. Emo fatigue, right? Emotional fatigue. Yeah, because I would get so fatigued the next day but and frustrated. And then I said, well, you know what? I don't even think I'm fatigued. I think it's just me getting so emotional about it that I'm wearing myself out. You know, I just have to just relax and not, you know, let it happen. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it worked for me. It so, worked. Glad, so glad to hear all this. And, and uh, one thing that, you know, I remember vaguely, but I think there was something, something important there was that time where you visited your mom or your mom visited you and she told you that you were sleeping. Yes. What, was that? Yes. What happened? So, you know, cause I, 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 my daughter has her own room and I'm sleeping in my room. Um, I, I don't know if I'm sleeping or not. I'm thinking I'm not sleeping. Um, so one day, I don't remember what happened. I think my, my mom said, just sleep over because I don't remember why. But I, I slept over her house. I'm sleeping on the couch. And then the next morning she said, did you hear me go to the bathroom like three times? I'm like, no. She's like, I heard. And, and she was like, well, I kept walking around. I'm just like, you were sleeping. You were knocked out. I was like, no way. I was. I was like, well, I don't feel like I'm sleeping. That built confidence. So every time she would tell me that, that I'm sleeping, or every time I'll catch myself like I'm snoring, like like a little bit, right? I got to say a little bit. <laughs> um, and I'll wake up and I say, oh, I, I want to sleep. Okay, I'm good. Like it just builds more sleep confidence and, and helps your brain kind of like not like get out of that that mentality that you're not sleeping and, and making you feel more um, anxious about um, sleep. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's so helpful to see that because like, when you think you're not sleeping at all, it just, everything seems worse, but then you see like, oh, I actually did sleep. Just just yeah. that little thing can make me like, oh, so maybe I'm sleeping more than I think. And, just, mm -hmm. and then one of the questions that I asked during on, the, on Slack, or maybe it was during one of the, the, the video yeah. calls yeah. was about eating because I wasn't eating um, in the beginning. Like I, I lost like 10 pounds because I think the first two months I was losing weight, um, not eating and um, or like my appetite wasn't there. So uh, that was one of the things I think Coach Mich Michelle said, oh yeah, that's that's normal. And other members said, yeah, that's normal. I lost this much you know, as well. But um, what I noticed is when, when I really started getting good sleep, I woke up, I think I, I even told you one day in one episode, I said, oh my God, I had a cheeseburger this weekend. I think I even had some wine. I had a whole cheeseburger and fries and like I was able to enjoy it. And I was just happy because I was able to, to eat.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I was gonna ask about that one too. I know I brought it up a couple of times because it was, you know, when, um, and this is more for everyone who's tuning in than, you know, for our conversation, Brenda, but the, you know, insomnia is often, it's kind of a heavy topic because it's not pleasant. It's like, and you're anxious, you're tired, you can feel depressed and all these things. And then there was this one dropping class with you and some other students and you were like, I ate a whole cheeseburger. And it was like, it was, everybody was smiling. It was such a nice break, but it, but it also was such a, it was a helpful teaching moment where you can see that when you are like anxious and nervous and you're stressed out, of course we don't eat that much. That's just who we are. Humans are like that. Mm -hmm. but then when it happens in the concept of song, it can seem scary. Like, why am I not eating? Why doesn't that, right? And so, um, again, something to learn from. And it's, it's, it was just a nice relief here. We had that cheeseburger. Right. Um, and when you don't know what's going on with you. I mean, like I said, that was my first time. If I ever go through, you know, an episode again, um, or I start losing sleep or, or, you know, I'm not eating or something for the same reason, I already know what it is, you know, or why, you know, I've been through it already. So at the time I'm like, oh my God, I don't know. So being in the group and asking those questions was just, you know, golden. It was very important for me. Super nice to hear that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you graduated a couple of weeks ago. Things have been going well. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think uh, I don't, there was really those were really the questions I had. So, um, and I think you know, again, I, I sort of already I like to ask kind of like if you would talk to yourself, like uh, you know, in J June, like what would you tell yourself? We already talked a lot about like education being the thing, but anything to add that you would tell yourself, um, tell you know, Brenda in in June. Mm -hmm. um, definitely, from what I learned. Um, you know, and, and getting a lot of the feedback from like the coaches is to just be kind to yourself. And that's like very important. Sometimes I would just be so frustrated. And when you get like frustrated, like angry and get, you know, sad, I cry. Like I said, I cry several times. No, I'll say several times, maybe almost every day for the for like two months, just frustrated, um, wanting to sleep and just be kind to yourself. Um, and again, you don't have to do it alone. Uh, you can always, you know, reach out to, you know, um, you know, coaches like yourself and um, invest, invest in yourself. Because I know sometimes, you know, you think about, oh, I don't want to spend that much money or I don't want to do, you know, and, and to me, you know, what you, what the cost of the school is, is very cheap compared to going to like a therapist, which they're not going to even help you sometimes. <laughs> That's just my opinion, but yeah. Oh, yeah, I think it is true that <laughs> they don't give you as much information. Yeah. So wonderful. Well, uh, I need to ask you, do you think I raised uh, immunity already, or or not yet? <laughs> you know, I I actually how did you determine that? Yeah. Yeah. No, I I I have a very practical way of actually kind of answering that question, which comes from uh, Coach Alima, who who you mentioned before, and. And so we can we can do like a kind of a little test of that now if you want to, which is basically uh, th there's this uh, I'm gonna um, say this kind of phrase, mm -hmm. and then how you react to that will tell us a lot. So basically, it is uh, if you tell yourself there's nothing I can do to make myself sleep. You tell yourself that, and you and that makes you feel like oh my gosh, that's unacceptable. That cannot be. I have to. That that's that makes me scared then it's like you you're probably need a little bit of more uh, learning. Mm -hmm. But if that, like, there's nothing I can do to make myself sleep, almost it makes you feel, like, relieved. You're like, yeah, that's right. That, right. to me, is like, then you're immune. So yeah, no, and you're, no, and you're absolutely right. I, and, and, the, and the good thing is, like, now that I understand a lot more about insomnia and the fact that you can't, you can't make yourself sleep. I mean, there's nothing you can do. And I know people were going to be like, oh, my God, like... <laughs> I, I teach, I even, I even try to like teach people now what I've learned whenever they're, you know, like, I think my daughter one day, she was like, I'm tired. I can't sleep. I'm like, just relax. I said, don't get anxious about it. Just go play something or read something. Don't worry about it. You know, or stop thinking about it. That's what I tell her. Or even, you know, some friends, like one of them said, you know, oh, I'm I want, I need more trozodone. And, and he wasn't listening to me, by the way, he, I guess he didn't reach out, but he's like, I need more sleep medicine. I said, whoa. I was like, that's not really going to help. <laughs> I said, there's nothing you can do to like make yourself sleep. And 
I, I shouldn't have told him that. I kind of feel bad, but I think he still opted for sleep medicine. But um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. It's just you know, it'll so, yeah. your body will, you, the sleep drive will do it. Exactly, and and you know, so I think you we answered the question. I think you're immune, this, which is amazing to hear, and you know what you said to your daughter, it makes me so glad because you, it easily, if you didn't know much about sleep, you could easily have told her like, do this, go go to bed earlier, go to bed at the same time, take some melatonin. And then she could have had more problem. But now you're starting like a different message and and then and a little, like, everything will change. Yeah. And it used to bother me. Like I used to get sad or like it used to get me like really like nervous when I hear people talking about, oh, I sleep all night and how good they're sleeping. Or uh, there was another a friend of mine, the, her daughter said, oh, I got I got melatonin. That's OK. I don't I'm done thinking in my head that ain't going to make us sleep. <laughs> so but it used to make me feel nervous. Now I just laugh about it. And I'm like, yeah, OK, whatever. You know, super. So, mm -hmm. Well, perfect. Well, I, I just want to say um, thanks so much, Brenda, for coming on and uh, being touch. All right. No, thank you and your coaches and everybody else for getting me through these tough months. I'm, I'm okay. glad I, I reached I'll pass out. I said it along to them. Yeah. Bye. Now. Bye.